Hi, my name is Andrew Luo, and this is a joint project with Zhou Tongzhang, Jia Junwu, and Josh Tenenbaum. Our work seeks to address the problem of conditional generation of indoor layouts and the refinement of these layouts using 2.5D and semantic supervision. As a quick example, given the spatial description of a scene, you want to position a set of objects. In our case, the input takes the form of scene graphs, where the nodes describe object types and the edges describe object relationships. We want to generate layouts that are constrained by the scene graph. The scene graph is underspecified, and multiple plausible layouts can satisfy the same spatial constraints. Given these requirements, we want the generated scenes to be both accurate while also diverse. As a quick recap of prior work, there is work on scene graph conditioned image generation, but these operate in pixel space and are not 3D or well. There is work on layout generation, but generally these do not allow for fine grained control over object positions and can be very slow. Our work aims to be fast while satisfying the scene graph constraints and allow for the refinement of object locations based on 2.5D and semantic targets. We introduced two differentiable modules. The first we call a 3D scene layout network or 3D SLN. This is a neural network which can take as input scene graphs and output per object bounding boxes. The second is a differentiable renderer which can take as input the proposed bounding boxes and can then sample object meshes and compute losses from exemplar layouts to further refine object positions. Here is the architecture of our 3D SLN. It takes the form of a graph convolution based variational autoencoder. During training, we feed in ground truth bounding boxes and the corresponding scene graph. It learns a latent space modeled as normal distribution, which we can then sample from to address per object bounding boxes. During test time, we can discard the encoder and simply use the decoder with a scene graph. Here is an example of generated object layouts from a top-down view presented as a heat map. On the very left, you can see the corresponding scene graph. In this case, we want a bed behind a desk. We start off with two objects. You can see that at the beginning, the object distribution is fairly diffuse. We can then add a cabinet left of the bed, a chair behind the desk, and a lamp on the desk. As you can see, the object distribution adaptively becomes more concentrated as we add more objects into a room. The layout generation process is very fast on the order of milliseconds. Quantitatively, we also measure the diversity and accuracy of our object layouts. We compare against a few baselines. First, we randomly distribute objects in a room. Secondly, we also experiment with randomly perturbing objects with a given positional and rotational variance. We compare against DeepSim, which is an unconditional scene layout method, and for this, we measure the first instance of each object type. Finally, we perform ablation studies, where we first use a deterministic scene layout network, and then one where we simply inject random noise but do not use a VAE framework. And last is our full 3D SLM model. We find our model to generate both accurate and diverse scenes. Since our layout regression process is fully differentiable, we can further fine tune a given layout using 2.5D and semantic exemplars. Given a generated layout, we can sample object meshes from SunCG and render the image using a differentiable render. This allows us to compute gradients with respect to the decoder and latent. Here are a few examples showing proposed layouts, target layouts, and the post refinement layouts. Our model lends itself to many applications. We can do image generation. For a fair comparison, we train a spade-based scan for shading, and we compare against Johnson's 2018 work trained on SunCG scene graphs and SunCG rendered images. Our method is capable of generating much higher quality images. We can also perform exemplar-based layout generation of novel scenes. In this example, we create scene graphs by posting images, which we then use to generate novel layouts. As you can see, not only can we recreate the original layout, we can also create unseen layouts that follow the given constraints. As a conclusion, we have introduced a way for conditional layout generation, which we call a 3D scene layout network. It is capable of generating both accurate and diverse scenes. By integrating a differentiable renderer, we can further refine object positions by comparing against the target 2.5D and semantic image. Our network lends itself to diverse applications, such as generation of indoor layouts, image generation, and exemplar-based image condition layout generation. Please check out our paper. Here is a QR code and a link to our project. We plan on releasing the code soon. Thank you for listening.